And folks, we're going to just jump shift now. We're going to talk about stock market. And we got a hot market up today, and that's 11 straight wins for the Dow. I think it's for the S&P. I think it's for everything. Uh, year to date, it's up. I don't know. David Bonson is going to tell us um, right here. And oh, let's go. David Bonson is going to tell us, and Pete Nigerian is going to tell us. Pete is a co-founder of Market <laughs> Rebellion. David is manager of No Free Lunch. Uh, Pete, you're the furthest away. So <laughs> how hot is this market? This is going to be fun. We got a sprint. David's here on set and you're in some place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess Minneapolis. If that's not true, um, don't tell me. I hope you're not in Delaware, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I'm not in Delaware on that bridge. <laughs> uh, don't go over that bridge because it's a black hole. Uh, can this rally last? That's what I really want to know, because I want the non rich to get rich. So is this rally going to last or not? I think it could, Larry. And the reason I say that is that I think we are already starting to see at the very beginning of July, we're starting to see a bit of a rotation, right? We all talked about the NASDAQ and the performance that it's had, and it's been absolutely extraordinary. But we're talking about technology. We're semiconductors. We're also looking at anything that had the letters AI attached to it. Those were the names that were actually leading the markets the way they did. Now we're starting to see financials are leading, energy's leading, materials are leading. Mm. And we're starting to see that start to roll over. And I think from that perspective, yes, that's why we're seeing the Dow perform the way it has over the last, I think you said, 11 days. It's been very, very impressive. And I think that there is something to it. And a lot of that is what we are already seeing right now out of earnings. And we always kick it off with financials. So far, so good. Even the regional banks are contributing very nicely right now. They've bounced off of some of those lows as well. So I think there is something to be said for the health of the market right now in terms of what we're seeing from that rotation. All right, Dave Bonson, so the rally is broadening out, which is important. Um, does the Federal Reserve meeting on, well, they'll make their announcement on Wednesday, does that matter? Uh, not in the short term. If they're going to continue hiking after this, you've got to think they'll end up breaking something, and they just haven't yet. Corporate profits seem to have bottomed at the end of 22 from their drop, and if they only drop 7 8% from, from peak to trough, that's pretty benign. That's not recessionary. The Fed wants to break something. The Fed wants to break something. I mean, something. that's their goofy, stupid economic models with 1,000 PhDs. Uh, well, and what it is is a philosophy. They're all from Delaware. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they believe that inflation is caused by uh, economic growth, and it's insane. Too many people working. People, too many people working, too many people producing. Yep. It's the opposite of what you and I believe economically. Um, I think that the bad news on the market front is, you know, profits are down 5% and the s and is up 20 How does that happen? The multiple's up 25%. You've got an S&P at 20 times earnings. It's hard to get a lot of multiple expansion past that for the market to get richer. So I think what Pete said's right. You need a broadening of the market, things into the utilities, healthcare, consumer staples. They had not been participating. They're doing better now. Uh, financials look good. So it, that's what is, you can't have AI and NASDAQ pull the whole market all year. It won't work. Pete, um, just two things that are out there that are potential negatives. Uh, one is the yield curve remains deeply inverted. Historically, that has been a recession signal, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people on Wall Street say this time is going to be different. I don't know. A lot of people always say this time is going to be different. Second point is the uh, old conference board's index of leading indicators, which I might add includes the S&P 500. But that thing's down 15 straight months, Pete Nigerian. And um, yep. they are calling for a recession by the end of this year and into next year. Uh, those two things could derail the bull market or, or what? You tell me. Well, they could, obviously, but I would say this. Um, recession is not depression. And I think so many people actually use that term recession and people's immediate reaction is, oh, gosh, we're going to be in depression. I would actually challenge everybody to say this. About a year ago, I think we were in a recession then. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're seeing one right mm -hmm. now, as a matter of fact. That I was, actually that, think that was the recession. But, that could that was the recession yeah. a year ago because of the inflation yep. shock and other uh, negatives. And then that's right. a good insight. But nobody wanted to call it that, right? I did. I did. <laughs> it was two Except straight quarters you. of negative GDP. Other, no, no, some other people did. I mean, that, he makes an interesting point. Everyone's looking for the recession that may have already happened. 
The, yeah, and yeah. see, I've used the analogy to 2002's recession, where it was very shallow. You did have oh, two quarters. Right, right. You yeah, had yeah. two quarters of right. negative GDP growth. Right. But most of the job losses were in what? Technology. Right. A lot of the country didn't know you were in recession. Overbuilt technology. Now, I will say, look, if corporate profits don't drop, wages don't drop, and jobs don't drop, mm. th if that's a recession, you know, I guess we'll take it. And that's what we were a year ago. There were other, as you point out, external economic shocks going on with inflation. Last one, real quick. Oil is up. 11 bucks this oh, month, $11 is that in a significant month. in your world outlook? Yeah, first of all, we're big energy investors, so we kind of like it. Second oh. of all, um, it's the one area where you don't see disinflation right now. And energy could disrupt the narrative, and mm. we'll see how serious the Fed is. Are they targeting core or headline? Because headlines are coming way down, and they keep raising. Now with core, it may be coming down and the oil going the other way. So I just think that uh, this is a very bad narrative for the Biden administration of oil going higher. Pete Nigerian, would you please get yourself here on set? Stop hanging out out there in Minnesota or where? Wherever it is, just get yourself on set. I, you're an awful smart fella, and wait. you're a good guy. <laughs> David Bonson, we love having you, as always.